violent clashes involving protesters and police on Saturday in Portland is raising questions about police tactics. At least four people were hurt, four were arrested in the confrontation involving the Patriot Prayer Organization and anti fascist groups. And this afternoon, the police chief responded at a news conference to accusations of targeting the anti fascist counter protesters. Lisa Balick was at both events. She joins us now live this afternoon with more. Lisa? Well, Chief of Police Danielle Atlaw calls it, quote, ridiculous to think that officers targeted one group over the other. She said their whole focus was on behavior that occurred right here, especially at Southwest Columbia and NATO on Saturday. Now, Atlaw says the Bureau is doing an investigation into police injuring people. Some of those confrontations caught on camera. Now, most of the physical interaction between anti-fascist groups and police came after police ordered them to get out of the street at Southwest Columbia and NATO here. After verbal warnings to clear out, police on a loudspeaker declared it a civil disturbance, then began firing flash grenades, pepper spray, and rubber bullets, pushing protesters back out of the street and out of the area. Even those on sidewalks who were trying to leave the area were pushed back physically. Rocks and bottles were thrown at officers. Protesters say that didn't happen until they were attacked by police. But the police chief says that's what caused officers to respond to the demonstrators. Where's the accountability for the people that come with the intent to harm, destroy, and to tear things up, and to actually come and physically fight other people? And then, and then we are called to break it up and say we don't want anything to happen. And if for if one one side gets the shorter end of the stick for whatever reason, then we're accused of not protecting one side or the other. She also says the Bureau is just starting its investigation into the violence involving police and the Independent Police Review Board will examine whether the use of force was appropriate and within training guidelines. But already today, the Assistant Chief Ryan Lee did say they have suspended the use of what they call the aerial distracting devices that are supposed to be used to fire above the crowd. Instead, we saw them going right into the crowd. I'll have much more in this coming up tonight at 5. Live in downtown Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.